Welcome to the Real Estate Market Updates on TV3. I'm Dirk, broker at Jack Jervis Realty, and I'm here with um, my best-selling agent in the agency, Lisa Jaskin-Peterson, and we're going to talk a little bit about 2016 and give you an outlook of 2017. Lisa, tell us about 2016. I thought it was a fabulous year. Um, the most surprising thing for me in 2016 was that it was spread out. Uh, the sales really started in January and went all the way through December. So that was exciting. And I'm seeing that same trend for 2017 that it, it's going right now. Interesting. Uh, it's winter and most people say like, oh, nobody is looking. Mm -hmm. Is that true for us? Because uh, people always think, no, I need to list the house at a certain time. And you just mentioned it happens all year long. And most people ask, when is your peak times? I really think we're selling year round. We don't live lake life year round. We also sell year round. What, what is Absolutely. your take on that? Absolutely. Uh, last weekend we had a lake expo up in Fargo and it was so surprising because the people that came through, they were there on a mission, not just looking for lake homes, but lake life in Detroit lakes. And it, it was, it was so interesting to me to see that, um, since last weekend, we've already made sales. It's you know, true. It's already come to fruition. So I think it's really important that if you're thinking about listing, get that house on the market now. City, rural, lakeshore, get it out there now. Yeah, they're looking all the time. And uh, I, I saw that too. So we had, of course, November, December is always a little slow because we are busy. But starting right January and into February, March, like it's, it's interesting. So 17, what do you think is going to happen? I think we better hold on, you know, because it's going to be a busy year again. There's just already a pulse going on in the market. People are out there looking. They're looking for lake homes as a second lake home. They're absolutely looking to make that move from that smaller house into maybe the next step up. There's, there's a buzz in the air and you can feel it. I always tell my clients, I'll let you know in the spring what the what the market is doing because there is a pulse and the pulse has started in January this year. Yeah, what I also we have uh, changes uh, nationwide and also not only on uh, one uh, particular happening, but we also see uh, interest rates going up and we read about that and there was a, a few articles and there was one that we shared from the Wall Street Journal that they have a prediction of uh, a 4.5 percent uh, interest. Um, for home loans by end of the year and um, Mr. Shivers I spoke to Jack also earlier uh, this week and uh, interestingly he is our mentor all of our mentor and he's a resource to us in the group still and uh, he has uh, five decades of real estate experience what he said with the interest rates going up uh, it's actually um, people don't uh, wait uh, kick tire kickers uh, um, right so they they accelerate their decision making so actually this year may be um, not just an extension of 15th and 16th success overcoming the past of the housing crisis, but also like now people want to make a decision and before the interest rates are going too high, they can lock in to actually fairly uh, reasonable um, cost, correct? Mm -hmm. So you see 2017 also being accelerated sales maybe due to an interest increase? I think so and you know the availability of properties out there. The inventory is low right now mm -hmm. uh, all across the board, city, rural, and lakeshore. So it's important to have your ducks in a row. When you are thinking or considering that you want to make the next move up or you want to get that second lake home or whatever it is, have your ducks in a row because the inventory is such that when you find what you're looking for, you need to act fast for the interest rates and just for the availability. That's interesting. Yeah, low inventory. We are suffering from that or the sellers are profit mm -hmm. profiting from that uh, we just had a listing go up uh, on big cormorant lake and um, i couldn't believe it uh, it's just shy of half a million dollars mm -hmm. and it sold within four days 24 hours i oh, thought <laughs> okay i'm i apologize uh, um, usually i'm ahead mm -hmm. of myself so now i was a little slow mm -hmm. so uh, uh, less than two days we had mm -hmm. a property listed advertised shown mm -hmm. and under contract and we're talking a lot of money for and you mentioned the second home that mm -hmm. was uh, most likely a, a, mm -hmm. a weekend home for mm -hmm. for a fargo moorhead um, family mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so it doesn't matter and that happened in January mm -hmm. uh, with snow 
uh, on the ground and frozen ice, frozen lakes, I mean. And you drove down in a blizzard. You know, again, going back to that availability. That important it was too. It was so important for him to come. He actually came down from Grand Forks and he drove through a blizzard to get here to see the property. So what we learn is that we have multiple factors uh, for uh, a seller's market. Uh, we have low inventory. So if you're interested in selling uh, and you're promoting it at any time and you have a good uh, property for sale, most likely you will find a buyer quickly. Um, we know that we most likely have increased uh, interest rates, but which will possibly accelerate uh, the decision making to lock into a new home purchase this year. Um, that is some interesting facts and a good, good outlook for 2017. And uh, as a little recap for 2016, what we experienced uh, in comparison to the 15 is that the average sales price went up uh, roughly 8%, which is significant. Um, so we have a very strong local market, uh, not being able to compare to a Florida, Arizona or California. So uh, I think it's very uh, important for you as a seller to connect to a local uh, real estate agency um, with a local expert that can explain to you what the, the local real estate market looks like. And um, the next coming weeks, uh, Lisa will actually have a little show going uh, for you, um, preparing you with tips uh, how to list a home and what to do um, as a resource so uh, stay tuned with us um, with Lisa and uh, Jack Chivers Realty uh, the real estate market update thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful rest of your week